I haven't sat in front of a camera for two weeks now. Okay, so let me explain a few things before I actually start the video. So obviously, last week I uploaded a Tinder video <laughs> illegally. Um, so Mother Hoskins made me take that down. I didn't realise it was illegal to catfish yourself on Tinder, but anyways, <laughs> here we are with a um, what's on my iPhone video. This video, again, is very, very, very boring and unoriginal because your girl has no video ideas and no motivation. I should probably take my shoe and come out, but like, I feel like it's gonna annoy everyone if I leave it in, so I might swallow it. <coughs> oh my god, it's gonna get stuck in my stomach for the next seven years. I don't know why, but recently I haven't had any motivation for YouTube. It's not the fact that I don't like it anymore, it's literally just like, finding the time and the effort. It's hard being a teenager, I don't get enough sleep anyways. I, it's hard balancing everything out to actually like, have time to enjoy myself but enough of that i'm here filming what's my iphone video because you guys have wanted this for so so long this is my phone it is the iphone 8 plus in black so it's just like this i can't be asked to focus it but it's like got the glass back i haven't smashed it yet which is good and then this is the case i currently have i switched between this one and another case which is like my skinny dip angel case i've shown this case in a video before um it's from burger they very kindly sent me it it's not sponsored or anything though and it's just camo and i really really like this but everyone's always like where's your phone gone i'm like that joke's dead as fuck stop saying it i don't know which side to sit on this side or this side this side i don't like the other side so this is my lock screen it's a beautiful picture of my friend alicia what a babe and that's the same as like my home screen as well because i need her in my everyday life so here is my phone i've got three pages of apps so i'm just gonna go through the apps and tell you what I use them for and what is on them because that's what a What's On My Earth video is, Sadie Rose. Messages. I've got 12 messages because I'm super duper popular and like I get non-stop messages. <music> then we have calendar because I need to put in all my important dates um, because I have a party almost every weekend so i need to just keep up to date with um my schedule then i have photos and i'm not gonna go on this because i literally have so much shit on my camera roll i actually like need to one night just go through it and delete all the shitty screenshots i have then i have camera which obviously you know what that is then i have weather which i never ever use i have clocks which i actually use all the time look how many bloody alarms i have like in the morning i'll set like every single one of these up till like half eight because i can't wake up on just one alarm like it doesn't it just doesn't happen they have maps which I don't use. Notes, which sometimes I use, sometimes I don't. Then I have reminders, which apparently I have 11 reminders, but like, what are they? Cancel sandbox, new video, new video, remember dance letter, house key, toilet tampon. Toilet tampon, what does that even mean? Dance stuff, check your... Yeah, that, I bet that was useful when I need a reminder and you just come up with check your... Wow, I don't do any of these things ever. Um, then I have App Store, iTunes Store, FaceTime, you know, the classics. Love a good FaceTime with Alicia. Then I have Calculator, which, I mean, I love Calculator so much, I always, like, text my friends on it. Then I have Find iPhone, which I should probably set up because the amount of times I lose my phone isn't funny, but like, I can't be asked to set up Find iPhone, so my phone could just be lost, I'm, I'm not bothered. Then I have Contacts because I need a place to store all my friends, yes, all three of them. Then I have Wallet, which is obviously like Apple Pay. Apple Pay is the best thing ever. If you don't have Apple Pay, get it because literally you just do that like double type your fingerprint on the card reader and it does it like magic i don't understand then of health which i don't ever use i have settings which obviously everyone has so i'm not going to show you that then on the bottom i have phone right i'm publicly addressing this as an issue the same person no caller id calls me every single day the same annoying voice i don't know who it is obviously you can't block no caller ids so whoever it is can you please fucking stop it's so annoying one time you gave me like like six calls in a row like leave me alone please please then i have mail which is it's not my like youtube mail it's just like my other mail account like my hotmail then i have spotify which i mean i love spotify i have spotify premium thanks dad <laughs> i've been loving the wombats recently let's follow them um i just find their songs really nice to listen to then i have safari which let's see what the last thing i looked up was oh wait it was dominoes i'm a fat bitch so yeah that is the first page um there's nothing too exciting but i do use a lot of these apps because they're like the most important ones let's move on to the second page okay so here's the second page this is where like all my main apps are so first i have snapchat and it's my sage rose yt one my like personal one i use all the time but i'm not gonna publicly show that to you because it's private but this is the one that you guys can follow so it's just 
Sadie Rose YT, here's the like snap code on the screen or you can just add the username. I put some of my stuff on my story before which I never ever do. A lot of you guys message me but a lot of you guys spam me which is really annoying so please don't. If you actually do send me a nice message I will reply so um. Okay next we have Instagram. Instagram after Snapchat is my fave app. I'm on it all the time. This is my Instagram. Go follow it please because I want to get 10k so I can use the swipe up filter so um, then I have YouTube which you guys are obviously watching me on now, subscribe, um, then I have Twitter and I use Twitter quite a lot now, I actually do, like go follow me guys. I tweet loads of random shit but some of it is kind of relevant sometimes, never. So that's fun, I have like no followers on there so yeah, I would appreciate if you guys would follow me. Then I have Gmail which I use all the time, I'm not going to click on it because it has like YouTube emails and shit. Sorry my voice sounds so annoying. Um, and then I have Time Hop, which is for Facebook, and it's basically, do you know on Snapchat Memories when it tells you like what happened a year ago, two years ago? It's like the same thing, just for like other apps as well. Then I have Facebook and Messenger, which are both private because it's obviously like close uh, friends and stuff. Then I have Puffin, which I've explained so many times, but it's basically like your computer desktop, but on your phones. Oh my god, my knees hurt so bad. Then what are we up to? WhatsApp, that's obviously private because it's my phone number, but I don't use WhatsApp ever. I don't think I've ever even used it. Then I have Fonto, which I actually use for my thumbnails. Then I have Rightmove. And recently I've seen a lot of people say that they like to look at houses on like Rightmove and Zoopla and stuff. I've always liked doing that, but I thought it was weird. Apparently loads of people like doing that, so maybe I'm not weird. Let's not kid yourself now, Sadie. Let's put this into context. The times when I look at Rightmove are the times when it's past 12am on a school night and the boy that I want to snapchat is taking over 5 minutes to reply so I need something to do within those 5 minutes to occupy myself while waiting for his reply. So then I click on right move and I look for the houses. Then I click back onto snapchat and it says delivered 20 minutes ago. The boy's on, yes you guessed it, just now. So then I will cry myself to sleep. <laughs> Next I have BT Mobile because obviously my like mobile like carrier thing, I don't know what you call it, is BT Mobile. Then I have the period app Flow which if you do have your period then get this app because it's so so good. Don't worry I'm not pregnant guys, I just don't have my period anymore. Uh, then I have Halifax which is my bank, obviously I'm not going to show you that because that's personal. And then I have Shazam, everyone knows what Shazam is but basically if you hear a good song, Shazam it and it'll tell you what song it is. I use Shazam quite a lot but I think you can use it on Snapchat now so I just use it on Snapchat. Um, then I have Pinterest and I never go on it. I use to. So if you are bored at night and you're waiting for that boy to reply, pop onto Pinterest, it'll make the time go so much faster, I promise. Then I have Depop and loads and loads of you guys followed me since my last video so if you want to follow me you can. My Depop is simply Sadie with two Y's because I can't change it and it's very very embarrassing but it's fine, we can get over it. Next I have Facetune which I don't use, I used to have the pro version but I cancelled the free trial. Oh wow, that is a fit picture. Yeah, I edited this to make my teeth look whiter. Extract Sadie Rose exposed. Uh, then I have iMovie. Then I have Social Blade which is, I feel like I'm going to be sick, oh my god. Social Blade which you can use to see your subscribers, how many you get in a day, like what your ranking is out of other YouTubers, like views, um, estimated money, all the things like that. I don't use it very much because I'm not really interested in stuff like that. So then I have Minecraft which I got one night when I was feeling very upset. I was depressed about something, probably a boy, but I can't remember. Then I have Photomath, which I, it's actually a saviour. You need Photomath, you can literally like scan it and it'll tell you the answer, and also the working, so you can copy that down as well. My teachers, if you're watching this, please don't sue me. Literally, every night, I get the sound of boy races engines, it's so annoying, like makes me want to die. Anyways, then I have Bitmoji, which is obviously for Snapchat, my Bitmoji slays AF, she is the god, like look at that bitch. Then I have Buzzfeed, which I use all the time, I literally do all the quizzes and like look at like the news and stuff on here, because it's quite useful, like I actually generally read the news on here, so I do that when I'm bored. Then I have YouTube Studio, which I'm not going to click on because it shows how much money I make. It's really, really good for YouTubers, like if you're a YouTuber, definitely get this app because it shows your analytics. It's pretty accurate how much money you're making so if you like want to have like an estimate on how much money you're making it will um, tell you. I have sub count which I use all the time and we're so close to 50k. We've just hit 46k so hopefully maybe in the next two, three weeks we can hit 50k. Honestly I'd be so buzzed if we did so yeah that's like halfway to 100,000 people which is a lot. Then I have AdSense which um, I'm not going to click on because again it says how much I make but I only use the app to see like my monthly income like 
it doesn't really work like it doesn't tell me anything else apart from the actual numbers then a visco account which i use to edit my instagram photos well sometimes sometimes i don't actually edit them but sometimes i just like turn the brightness up um, and stuff but i don't really bother with like filters and stuff i have sandbox which i used to play i literally i haven't played it in ages but it's like that colouring game, but when I play it now, I really hate it. Like, I've got to be a different level of board to even reach for that app, so I don't even know why I have it. Then I have Afterlight, which is basically like Visco Cam, just like, it's more like altering stuff rather than filters. It's like light leaks and like, I don't know, all that kind of stuff. Then I have Measure, which I use to measure my cock. Then I have Train Line, which is useful for the train because... Like, me and my friends get the train a lot to, like, town and stuff. Then I have SoundCloud because me and my friends have some banging playlists on there. Bit of Bedrock, bit of Candy Shop, you know you know how it is. Then I have Fusel Collage, which I use if I want to put a collage on my videos, which isn't very often nowadays, but I used to use it quite a lot. Um, it's just a really nice collage app. I have Episode, which Episode used to be the shit, but now it's so annoying to play because you've got to, like, wait for the gems and then wait for the tickets. Then I have Podcasts, which I don't even know why I have, so I'm going to delete that. But they have TikTok. I just think TikTok... TikTok is like embarrassing to our society. For me knowing that it's my kind of age group that are using it depresses me so. Then I have Wordlink which is one of those games that you play when you're in Mackies and you've got the Wi-Fi has been turned off and the plugs have been turned off and your phone's about to die but you don't want to use your data to drain your battery so you go on Wordlink. That is this game in a nutshell. Then I have BitLife which is the shit. It's one of the best games ever. You basically like you spawn a little character and you watch it grow up and you can like make it turn into a porn star and stuff. It's amazing. I've shown you everything that's on it. I've exposed myself to the max. So yeah, that was everything on my phone. I feel like my voice and my like nose started to get progressively worse throughout the video, so I apologize for that. Honestly, I promise I will try and get back up on my feet with this channel. I'm just tired at the moment. I've lost motivation. I don't know why. I just I go, go, everyone goes through phases like this, even big YouTubers that like, you probably wouldn't even expect. Like they still might be posting every day, but they still might inside be like hating it. But I'm one of those people that if I'm not enjoying something, I just won't. I just can't be asked. So but anyways, if you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, follow all the social medias that I mentioned in the video, um, they're linked down below and on the next screen, so you can follow me. Um, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!